Uh, the defendant was convicted by a jury of one count of gross vehicular manslaughter while intoxicated, and his sentencing was set for December the 11th at 1.30 p.m. This is a case about a defendant who made a choice to please himself, to get high on drugs, and to send text messages without a care in the world. No concern whatsoever for the 14-year-old boy riding his bike to school on a bright, sunny day. I don't think there is a victory for the most part. I think it's, it's terrible for both families. They had a young man that didn't want to take responsibility for his actions, drew, drew it out over two years, two and a half years almost, still doesn't want to take responsibility for what he did to my son. So I'm just glad that um, he's being held accountable for what he did to Danny. Um, nothing will bring Danny back, so it's really only bad and worse, but at least he'll be held accountable for his criminal behavior that he did that day. I'm glad to see Jeff in cuffs and that he deserves it. And I wish he would have come up clean in the first place, but he didn't. And now we've had to go through all this for two years. I think it's insane we'd have to go through this for two years. And if he would have just admitted it in the first place, he'd probably be out right now. When? He goes to jail, everybody cries. But at least they didn't lose him. And that's what kind of bothers me.